Hey everyone, Chris here and today I'm bringing you some very special video. As you probably know, I've started doing my live streams on Twitch several months ago. These are mostly drumming streams and last week I did my first chatting stream when I didn't play drums at all. Instead, I was unpacking a huge package that I've got from Manel and answered questions from the viewers. And this time I decided to edit this stream and post it on YouTube. Honestly, I'm pretty nervous about it because we never had video like this on this channel before. So please let me know what you think about it in comments. And if you enjoyed, give this video a like and don't forget to follow my Twitch and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next streams. So get yourself some drinks and snacks and let's go. Hope you enjoy. Do you play any other instruments besides drums? I can play a little bit uh, guitar and bass guitar, but a little bit. Uh, probably I will um, stream, like just chatting streams more often. I don't know yet. Um, we will see. <laughs> it's pretty unusual for me uh, to just to talk. But we'll see. Maybe guitar stream one day. Maybe. I just need to get it. I left my guitar uh, in Russia. So maybe let's try the first box. What do you think? Uh, why have you moved to Serbia? Um, because I needed some documents that I received here, but Serbia is not my last direction, so yeah. Can you talk about your tattoos? I don't have so many tattoos, I only have uh, this big one uh, on the left hand. I just don't, don't know what you... Uh, want me to ask, uh, to tell about it? It's just a tattoo. I don't have some, I don't know, some meanings and other stuff. It's just tattoos for me. Yeah, I don't have some uh, background stories about these tattoos. So let's start with the first box. I'm so excited to open the first one. I don't know. Uh, maybe we should we should start with. Uh, um, let's start with this one. Here's a lot of stops, but on the box you can see bongo and stand for cajon player. Okay, so we have some stand. Looks like it's bongo stand. I don't know, should we open it or should we wait for bongos? Um, there is no bongos inside, by the way. Um, Okay, let's open it. Ah, I think uh, all of these pieces for bongos. Yeah, this is bongo stand and this one is also bongo stand. But there is no bongos inside. Okay, <laughs> we'll try to find it uh, in another box. One piece and the second piece. Cowball today, probably, because I ordered some. Yeah, this is all for bongos. Okay, this is not so interesting. Just a stand and key for bongo. Okay, the first one done. We got bongo stand. I need to buy a tambourine stand. I never saw tambourine stand before. Um, I only used some hand tambourines and tambourines for hi-hat. 
This is like Christmas for Chris Drummer. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. I like to open new gear. I think all of the musicians like to open new gear. Who was the first band you enjoyed listening to? It was Metallica. I listening. Uh, I was listening to Metallica when I was like two years, two years old. We'll have hoodies and hats soon. Oh, I really hope we can uh, make some cool hoodies soon. I'm not sure about hats, but yeah, maybe hoodies. Is there cowball in the middle of these boxes? Yeah, I ordered some cowboys, so I think, yeah, we'll open some boxes and fight it. <laughs> What country do you live now? Uh, for now, I live in Serbia. Hey, Chris, have you played in a band? Uh, yes, I played in several bands. Um, it was uh, post rock, it was pop rock, it was even metal. So, yeah. Do you speak English there or Serbian? I don't know Serbian language, so I speak English. A lot of people here knows uh, know English. This is great. <laughs> but sometimes I need to understand Serbian. Love your shirts, you you so good. Thank you. I just realized that uh, we have a lot of purple colors here, and also my shirt. Uh, yesterday, I was painting this wall. Uh, it was uh, an orange, uh, and now it's purple, purple squares. So let's open uh, one more package, maybe this one. Oh, it's pretty big. Oh. Some book. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I know what is it. This is Cajon. Do you know? And it's purple, by the way. <laughs> Ooh. It looks so good. I don't know if you can see it fully. I never played Cajon before. Really, I, I just don't know how to play. <laughs> I need some uh, video lessons to learn how to play Cajon. But it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, this is an instrument, percussion instrument. Uh, do you sit on it while you're playing it? Yeah, you should sit on it and play with hands. Uh, oh, I'm in Spain. I know that instrument it's used for flamenco. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna try it. Uh, I'll try to find some video lessons. I loved that collab video you and Tanya Da from TikTok made together. That was so cool. Are you considering more collab videos in future? Yeah, why not? I love collab videos and uh, next month uh, I'll post new collab video with the awesome uh, vocalist on YouTube. <laughs> Can you pretty please uh, tell me what happened to the bug after the Sunday stream? Uh, and the equipment looks so awesome. Thank you. Uh, I catched this bug, uh, it was on stream, and I just let it go after the stream. That's it. I didn't kill it. Is your studio big? Uh, not actually. It's pretty small. I have two kits here, uh, my acoustic one, and here is my electronic one. And that's it. <laughs> my previous studio was very big. Uh, I had uh, three rooms for acoustic kit, uh, for 
Uh, I had two electronic kits there. So one room for acoustic kit, uh, one uh, for uh, one electronic kit and second electronic kit. And you can check it um, on YouTube. I posted a studio tour there maybe a year ago. Uh, your English is very good. Do you still have an English teacher? Uh, thank you, Klaus. Uh, I try to improve my English every day. Uh, but now I don't have English teacher, unfortunately. Um, and um, I'm looking for good one, good teacher. So if you know good English teacher, please let me know. What is the best electronic drums you have played? Uh, the best one is Giva. Uh, I played uh, on Giva G5 and Giva G3. And both of them are really cool, great, great instruments. When stream with acoustic set? Uh, maybe this month I will try it. I need to set up some things uh, for this stream. And I bought some uh, new uh, stuff for this, like technical stuff. So yeah, I think this month. Are you also doing some sports? No, <laughs> only drumming. Drumming is also sport for me. Oh, it's really heavy. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is my drumsticks. Signature ones. Let's open. Uh, here should be 100 pairs. Yeah. For one year. Uh, we can open one set. Yeah, this is sticks. Sticks from Manal Stick and Brush. My signature sticks. With uh, Dino. You should check it. I don't know if the focus uh, will show it to us, but maybe no. No. Okay, so you can find the sticks, by the way, um, on my F affiliate links. You can find it uh, in the stream description. There is Tomon link with all my gear. Will there be a sign Chris signature there? Uh, no, it's only only my logo. I don't know. Maybe I can show you. Yes. For me, this is really comfortable sticks. It's. Uh, Extra long sticks uh, with a uh, acorn tip, and yeah, I use it every time. Jeff tattoo, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And if you want to get uh, this, um, not these sticks, but used sticks with my signature, uh, you can order it with my. Uh, Patreon. You can check all information, all, all information there. Do drumsticks break very often or how come you got so many? Uh, it depends. Uh, if you play a lot, it can break often. Um, if you play uh, not so correct, it can break often, but usually I change my sticks, maybe... I don't know, it really depends how many tracks I have, I played, how many times time I practicing. So not so often, but 100 pairs are more than enough for one year. It's, it's really a lot. <laughs> And by the way, if you use um, electronic kit, it's almost 
impossible to break stick. I don't remember if I uh, broke the stick with an electronic head. I think no. How many symbols do you break? Oh, this is a good question. Uh, maybe two. Two or three symbols. Maybe four. <laughs> I don't remember. How does an electronic kit, a drum kit work? Uh, electronic drum kit work with uh, electricity. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it has uh, a module and um, you can set all the settings there. You can you you um, need to just plug in and play. How did you get introduced to drums? Oh, uh, I don't remember. I remember that uh, first I was trying to play guitar, and uh, then um, I just tried drums. My parents uh, let me go at some music school and I choose drums. Not exactly drums, it was a percussion instrument, xylophone, but it was the only way to play some percussion. How many hours a week do you play practice? Uh, I'm trying to, trying to play every day. Uh, and sometimes it can be two hours, sometimes it can be four hours, sometimes I can make day off and don't play at all. Uh, sometimes it can be 30 minutes, so yeah, it depends on my mood. How did you come up with the idea of sharing your passion with us in video? Oh, it was so long ago, I started to uh, record videos maybe five or six years ago and um, in that time I um, I was watching a lot of drum videos on YouTube um, a lot of covers and um, I decided to try open the orange box okay let's open it I don't know what's it. Some paper. Okay. Also some stand. I don't know. The box says that inside we should find laptop table, table stand. Pretty useful thing, especially for streaming. With some stranger things. I don't know what is it. And it's so heavy. Do you see it? Oops. Uh, maybe I know what is it. Maybe no. Do you have any ideas? It turns in IKEA strip. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know. Should we assemble it right here? It's just a stand. I uh, have pretty similar uh, stand for uh, like 
papers, like uh, for sheet music. Okay, I think I should just set it right here. No. Or yes. I just don't know uh, what's that. Do you see it? Do you have any ideas? Do they unscrew? Let me try. Yes. Here it is. I don't know uh, why I need it. It looks like a game. Are those magnets? No. It's not magnets. It's just plastic. Maybe I'll try this stand uh, for the next stream, drumming stream. Uh, for now I use IKEA laptop stand. Yeah, maybe to fix laptop. I thought about it. But why? Why should I fix my laptop? It's pretty messy here. I was waiting for this stream, actually, because um, I wanted to get off read uh, of all these boxes. How did you come up with the merge idea and the dinosaur symbolic? Uh, about dinosaur logo, uh, I just like dinos, and uh, one day I decide that it will be a great idea to uh, make it as my leg like logo, and yeah, that's it. So simple. And about merch, by the way, my moderator Fancy Crutch uh, did this merch. He created it. For now, we have four design designs and uh, he created it <laughs> how's your dog what's his name i don't have a dog um this dog you uh see in my stories probably this is my neighbor's dog uh his name is chippy pretty kind and funny dog german shepherd do you still play bass um for now, no, I don't play bass because I don't have bass right now. Didn't you say a while ago your English isn't so good? It's very good. How did you learn it so quickly? Thank you. Uh, I can't say that I learned it quickly uh, because I was uh, learning, learning it for maybe four years or maybe even five with teacher so it's not so quickly and I want to improve it more and more I can't say that I speak fluently okay let's try to open some symbols we have three or four boxes with symbols a lot of symbols here The most excited part. So the first symbol. It's pure alloy medium crash 19. I never used it before, by the way. I'm so excited to try it. Maybe uh, next cover, next video, I'll try this one. Next one. This is my favorite series. Uh, Bizon's Duel Crash Ride 20. I played uh, with this ride before, Crash Ride. And this is really my favorite uh, series from Manal Symbols. I left this series in Georgia. And yeah, finally. 
Looks really awesome. Next one. Bizons. Legendary series. Uh, Medium Rye 20 from Maino. It's pretty heavy. Really heavy. Uh, oh, this is pure alloy custom. Extra thin hammered crush 20. Probably I used this uh, series before. I'm not sure about exactly this symbol, but I remember this series. Uh, it sounds cool. It's really cool. And the last one from this box. Bizan's Dual Crash 19. As I said before, my favorite series. Great. I think we have one more box with symbols. And now I use some new series from manual symbols. This is also pure alloy, but... Extra hammered, uh, but they are really like ringing so loud, so I have to uh, use some gel for uh, avoid this loud sound. Why so many symbols? Not so many. It's five or six. It's not so many. Never too many symbols. Yeah, that's true. I know tombs and snares need tuning. Uh, do symbols also need uh, tuning or some sort of calibration? No. Fortunately, you just should to uh, attach it to stand and play. But you can use uh, some gel like this. this little thing to avoid some extra loud sound but maybe only me use this thing for symbols I don't know uh, this thing especially for drums I use gel on my kit it helps with the vibration yeah it uh, can help you to avoid some sustain and make drums more dry uh, what do you usually like to do in your free time? <laughs> Maybe spend time with uh, dogs because I really like dogs. And in Georgia, uh, there was a lot of stray dogs, uh, but they they're feeling all right because they have uh, most of them uh, have a special tag on ear. It means <clears throat> that the dog. Um, <clears throat> vaccinated and um, yeah. I always uh, fed them I have uh, a big dog uh, I don't know band uh, in my neighborhood and uh, I spend a lot of time with them clean the house also yeah I like to clean the house one of my hobby okay let's unbox the second uh, package with uh, symbols. The first one. A little cute symbol. I think this is Splash. Yeah. Bizon Splash 8. Looks beautiful. I never played with this exact splash symbol but we'll try it one more splash bizon's dual 10 bigger one can we hear the tiny one please i'm not sure if this mic can so i'm not sure we can get great sound from this mic but i can try it I'm not sure how it sounded. Finally, hi hat here. I had this one before. 
also Bizan's duel. I had 14 top and bottom. Oh my god, I hate this thing that attached two symbols. It's usually too hard to <laughs> to remove it. So here's two high hat symbols. Uh, and I used it before, as I said, uh, in Georgia. So yeah, this is great hi hat. One more crash. Bizan's dual AT and and my favorite one. China. China is my favorite symbol, but I have not used this before. This is classic custom extreme metal China AT. It looks awesome. Just look at this logo. Yeah. Really metal symbol. I can't wait to try it. One more pure alloy, and this is medium crush 80. One more China. Bizan's Duel, Trash China, 82. And... Two more symbols. Uh, oh, here is Tuck. Uh, this is Tuck, I guess. Yeah. Classic custom dark trash stack bottom and top and the size is 12 I use pretty the same but size was um, 80 yeah I like stacks it's also sound cool oops better I need to uh, set it in the stand, on the stand, like a clap. This is high hat. Pure alloy, medium high hat, fourteen. We have two high hats. I just realized it. That's great. And that's it about symbols. I think. Also, remember, I ordered some bags. Probably we can find it in these boxes. I don't know what should I do with all of these <clears throat> boxes. I don't know. Maybe should I store it for next moving? <laughs> You're going to move again? Yes. It will be, if we talk about countries, it will be the third time. Okay, let's open uh, maybe symbol bags. I like it. Maybe let's uh, put some symbols here. Hi hat for this pocket. Pretty comfortable. Here we have uh, three or maybe even four section, and we can store here at least five or six symbols, I think. And also we have little pocket here for some little drum stuff. Not for sticks, I guess, but maybe some keys or something. 
And one more. Oh, this more vintage. Looks awesome. I like this one more. Like for some camp. <laughs> drum and camp. Here we also have the same amount of sanctions and uh, uh, one pocket for hi-hat and one small pocket and two boxes left. Next will be this one. That symbol bag looks so heavy to move it. Uh, the symbol back, it's pretty not so heavy, but with symbols, yeah, it's huge and heavy. Also a key. And yeah, this is bongos. Pink one. I have these bongos before in, uh, in Georgia and I think we can try it right now. I just need to set up the stand. I remember that I used this bongo maybe only once or twice. I played System of a Down, Chops You and maybe something else. Maybe you know uh, what track should I cover with with bongo. Uh, small one and big one. Usually I played uh, with uh, sticks, but maybe with hands. In our case with my one mic will be more natural, I don't know. I don't know how uh, it sounds with this mic. Sounds good uh, in life here, <laughs> but I don't know what uh, what you hear. Yeah, I need to cover some truck with this thing. All right, only one box left. Huge one with a lot of stuff. Do you usually play bongos with drumsticks? Uh, usually I play uh, bongos with drumsticks, yeah, but this time I decided to try with hands. Are you playing test your new gear in next stream? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, maybe with acoustic kit uh, we can test some gear. I'm not sure if we can Test it with electronic one. The mic sounds fine for demonstration. That's good because uh, in the last box we have a lot of little stuff like shakers and so on. And uh, we can test it right now. I think here is maybe 20 kilo. A lot of stuff. A lot. So, uh, what I see first is some tambourines. This one uh, is for hi-hat and I used this one uh, with my previous drum set. So you can attach it uh, right uh, in the hi-hat stand. I like how it sounds when you use uh, leg using hi-hat. So it's really cool. Sounds really cool. Yeah. Maybe you watched some covers when I using this one. Yeah, paddle hi-hat.
also some. Mm, this is like tambourines, but it calls soft chin ring. We have two of them. I don't know why, but okay. I never used it before. But I guess it sounds really awesome. So you can just put it on symbol. Like that. And I have no idea how it sounds. So we'll check it. Uh, another super flex high head tambourine. This is only for high head. Looks like this. Looks unusual. Uh, in the previous one, we had. Uh, I don't know what is it the material, but it's soft between these little symbols. But here, looks like this is plastic or something. Cool. I can put it on my high head right now. Sounds interesting. I should try it with some part, with drum part. Uh, rubber. No, this is not rubber. It's like a plastic, but this one. Maybe this is a rubber. So these things just add some extra like spices in sound, so that's always great. Cowbell cushion. I only used uh, these metal things for cowbells that can um, be used if you want to avoid some extra loud sound. Yeah, like magnets. But this is cushion, and I never used it before. Maybe we will try it uh, with the new cobbles. Feels nice. <laughs> and I see two cobbles. But they are the same. I don't know why I need the same cobbles, but okay. I used this uh, cobbel before. This is my favorite one from uh, Mano. Uh, this is signature cobbel designed with Mike Johnson. Includes two magnets tunes uh, for controlled lutein. Vintage steel finish. Yeah, I was talking about this uh, magnets. Huh. It can sound like this, but you can use this magnet, and it, it can sound like this, without sustain, if I can say like this, it's more quiet. Yeah, it has less sustain, that's correct. Uh, it's one more cushion, but bigger one. By the way, we can try cushion. It's gonna be more or less uh, sustained with cushion. Should I just put it inside or... I think yes. Yeah. It's without any sustain at all. Also, a lot of moon gels here. This is great because uh, I don't have any moon gel right now, but we have five boxes. That's great. It calls drum honey. And uh, it feels really nice in uh, fingers. It's so soft. Okay, next. 
some shakers. We have three wooden shakers. I don't know, maybe this is the same? No, this is not the same. They have different code. This is different wood. Let's start with the oak. I had some of the the wood shakers before, but I don't remember with what uh, wood. Sounds cool. So this is from oak. This one, batch wood. Looks like uh, it has bigger pieces inside. So this is oak. And batch. Sounds different. Sounds different. And uh, the third wood shaker from lime. Maybe you can see. That's cool. I hear the difference. <laughs> it's like uh, different tones. Sounds great. Do you like it? Which you prefer? I don't know. I like um, all of them. It sounds different. I should try it with maybe some music to understand what I prefer more okay one more shaker uh, this is there is no information about this shaker here if I remember right it calls dual shaker because I had uh, not the same but I had uh, with the gray and red color So, sounds so sandy. Cool. One more shaker. A lot of shakers here. I see one more shaker. It calls Viva Rhythm Community. Yeah, sounds great too. I like this uh, orange and red, red pieces inside. And one more. Looks pretty the same, but with gray pieces. It's more light, lighter and sounds more sandy. ASMR unboxing. Yeah, that's, that's right. Play all together. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but maybe I should try. I don't have so many hands. <laughs> Use some shakers on your next cover. Yeah, I will do it. Chew toy for Cheapy. I think Cheapy will destroy all of these shakers. I think this is tambourine. Expressive and dynamic, durable frame made for all settings. I had this one. Uh, usually I use it with a hi-hat stand and also I use it uh, as an individual instrument. instrument. If I remember right, I used um, one more stand and played like with hi-hat. Yeah, I think you can find some covers when I use it. Yeah, it sounds like this. Usually I play uh, with sticks. Oh, 
Oh, I see one more shaker. With black pieces. So we have seven. Seven shakers. Mm -hmm. uh, this one sound more uh, low. There is not so big difference between them. Okay, so one more thing. This is Cajon Kinetic Tuning Key. I have no idea how to tune Cajon, by the way. <laughs> so I need to find some lessons. We have this little box. Let's see what's inside. Look at this! I know this thing, but I never tried before. Uh, solid kalim kalimba kalimba small. So beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure if I use it correct correctly. Put it on the table so it can resonate. Oh, really? Really beautiful. Sleep knot, kalimba covers coming soon. <laughs> oh my god. It will be really crazy to use it with uh, sleep knot songs. One more cobble. Little tiny one. Oh. So loud. I never used this one before, but yeah, it should be uh, great to use these two cobbles both. This big one and small. And we can also use it with, uh, try it with cushion. It's too big for this one, I think. Without sustain. Oh, I see. Practice pad. I use it really rarely. And um, usually I practice uh, with drums. But sometimes, uh, for example, before concert, if you want to uh, warm up, make some practice, this is great thing for this. If you don't have a kit with you, this is also a great thing. When I moved to Georgia, I only have a practice pad for maybe two months and I practiced with pad, only with pad. Huge one. I had this one before, and uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice rubber, and we can try it with a uh, stand also. No way! This pad don't have this uh, circle for the stand. This is very sad. Because I cannot attach them. Okay. I remember I ordered not the exact this one. I ordered um, the pad from manual stick and brush and that pad has this thing to attach uh, with stand but this one don't have okay I also see a bunch of um, clamps here I usually use this one to attach cowbell from my regular symbol stand it's really comfortable I'm not sure if we 
should open it is just a clamp. This is also multi clamp for stands. The same one. And this is also um, clamp. I think I can use it for symbols as well. Symbol attachment holder. And here is multi clamp one mount. A lot of clamps, but they are always uh, useful. Just to add some extra stuff, extra symbols, percussions. In five minutes, we will not be able to see Chris anymore because of all the items around. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm not sure if you see all of them because on the floor, I don't know if I just can uh, make a step. I also see two the same things. Ah, this is stick holders. I order it not this exactly the same, not exactly this one. I ordered uh, the soft one I used before. Maybe you remember. Um, but this one, maybe you can put only one or two pairs here. But my previous holder uh, allows to store a lot of uh, sticks, like maybe six pairs. I don't know if this is comfortable one for the studio, but I'm sure this is comfortable one for concerts. Next one, shakers. Egg shaker, pair. Smooth and crystal clear sound. Durable uh, construction, model ES2BK. X looks funny. Mm -hmm. ah! It's so little, it's so cute. I know that Mainel have um, Mainel has uh, some different colors like red, orange. Uh, talking about this X. Yeah, pretty cute. Uh, samba whistle. This is a whistle. It's so loud. Looks fancy. I can just wear it. Chris Coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sports teacher. Whoa! This is like xylophone? It looks like a xylophone, little xylophone. Look at this. How do you like it? That's so cool. It's little xylophone. I don't know uh, how it calls. Uh, maybe I should check it on website. This is mountable series three tone chim chim or. Yeah, I think this is cheam. Mountable on all common L roads. Uh, the three free floating bars create a very long sustain and are totally uh, tonally matched. That's really interesting. I would like to try it. I have no idea uh, how I can use it with the drums or 
with another percussions, maybe? All right, so we have um, only four pieces. Uh, two of them are really strange. I don't know what is it. Let's try this first. Turbo Crusher. A gear style playing surface, cut in sound, model crusher. No? How should I use it? So I guess I should just hit or maybe Let's check it in the website. Uh, the main uh, turbo crushers are a must for drummers and percussionists uh, of all genres who want to add a different colors to the setup. This percussion accessory can be placed on any road and will give you a nice short crashing sound. And here is also the video. Yeah, I used it correctly. So, just hold this thing and just hit. Sounds pretty cool. I will definitely will use it. Uh, it calls percussion block. Oh, I know this one. It works uh, like a cobble. I very like this sound. Frog bell. Yeah, it really it reminds like frog sound. Cool. Symbol holder. Probably one more stand or clamp. Yeah, this is clamp and uh, you can attach this clamp to the regular stand and use this thing for symbol, extra symbol. That's really useful. How are you going to organize all that later? I have two uh, sh like shelves here. Maybe you can see it. Uh, not shells, uh, racks. Maybe you can see it right behind of me. And maybe I can store some shakers and cobbles here and this nice stuff also. And uh, the last thing, the last thing is really weird. Let me show you. Do you have any ideas? What should we do with this thing? This is the raw pro uh, produced warm crisp tone solid wood construction. I definitely will google it because I really don't know how to use it. There is no video on a website. Let me try to find it on YouTube maybe. The girl from this video hold it like this and uh, she just hit it like this. What the hell? It's really weird instrument. I can't call it stupid thing, but I should definitely think how I can use it. It's called it a vibra clamp. So there is something inside, probably something wooden. So we opened all the stuff. Uh, after the stream, uh, I will clean my studio because we have so many boxes and bags and little packages. So I need to get rid of it 
Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it was not so easy uh, for me uh, because it's really unusual stream. Uh, and I just realized that I was talking for two and a half minutes, hours. It's really a lot. Thank you. Maybe I should do more streams like just chatting or with the unboxing some stuff. But it was interesting, I think, for you, I guess, and for me too. It was interesting, Chris. Hope this is a new format you add. Thank you. We'll definitely try uh, once again, I think. And yeah, see you on Friday. Bye-bye.